famous faces from Irish racing were in attendance for the launch of the Longines Irish Champions Weekend at the Radisson Blue Hotel in Dublin. The event is now in its second year, with the racing taking place over one weekend at Leopardstown on Saturday, September the 12th, and at the Curra on Sunday, September the 13th. We're very much looking forward to it. Last year was fantastic, and it was our first year. We had incredible weather, so hopefully we won't get this. We'll get some sunshine. Uh, we had very good racing, good crowds, and a great buzz, a great atmosphere. I mean, this year we look like the races are going to be if anything, more competitive than last year. We've got Golden Horn and Glen Eagles and Grey Gatsby and all the big horses coming for the champion. Uh, the Phillies races look equally competitive and we're looking forward to a wonderful weekend. The Irish Champion Stake has always been one of the top races in the world. And uh, last year was just, was just re another renewal of that now. Uh, it came back to the top 10 race. It dropped out of the top 10 race, but with the quality of the field last year, it, it came back into the top 10 last year. We've put a lot of work into it. We're hoping, this, we're hoping this year with the support we've got from the owners and trainers, and if uh, most of these horses turn up on the day, that it will be, you know, it'll be one of the best races in the world this year. The way the ball has bounced this year, it looks like it could be an absolute cracker. I think the, the top six in the betting have 18 Group 1 uh, races between them. You know, there's a, a fantastic clash of the generations between the three-year-olds with Glen Eagles, Golden Horn and Plaishcock, and, and then the older horses, you know, Sirius de Zagel from France, uh, Free Eagle and the Grey Gatsby, uh, you know, so I think it's unprecedented to have a, a Guineas winner and a Derby winner taking each other on as three-year-olds uh, in the same year in Ireland. So it'd be wonderful if they all turn up and uh, a sight to behold. Well, it could well turn out that uh, it would be the top race in Europe, but, uh, um, you know, there are still, you know, some doubts about some of them, but uh, hopefully they'll all turn up and it'll be a good race. And uh, if I were to win it, I'd be more than happy. The big race on the Sunday at the Curra will be the Palmerstown House Estate Irish St. Ledger, won last year by a famous English footballer. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 the Palmerston House uh, St. Ledger was uh, certainly the highlight for us last year. Um, I think having Michael Owen win the race, you know, created, you know, marvellous atmosphere throughout the enclosure. We were actually under pressure to try and get the next race off on time because we had we had such euphoria in the in the parade ring. Um, hopefully he'll be back. Unfortunately, he got, he got an injury uh, this year, I think, after he ran in York um, in the spring. Um, but fingers crossed now he's back. The, all the, the, the vibes are positive. Um, and if he comes back, I think it'll be it'll be marvellous to, to have him there. But, but it's a hell of a good race this year. Um, you know, we have a lot of top horses targeting it. Um, and uh, both from the UK, we have a couple of German entries in it as well. Um, and there's a very, very strong Irish team as well this year. So um, I, th I think it's going to be a very, very hot race and, and possibly, you know, one of the better races over the weekend. The best horses from uh, all over the world uh, will come uh, um, to obviously both, both uh both tracks on both days uh, and like I said if we get the weather David it'll be incredible like it's something that people don't see uh, very often in, in any country in Europe let alone in Ireland so it'll, it's, uh, it's very exciting. Swiss watchmaking company Longines has become the title partner of Irish Champions Weekend and they'll also be offering up some great prizes for male and female race goers over the two days. But we are very proud to be here for the launch of the Longines Irish Champions Weekend. It is a, partner, a new partner uh, because we share the same values as elegance, tradition and performance. And for us to share the values is very important. We look forward to see this incredible weekend which is probably one of the best race weekend of the year in the horse racing season uh, globally. And uh, it will be a fantastic weekend uh, and all horse lovers will be here to watch that. Well, I'm delighted to say that over the course of the Longines Irish Champions Weekend, of course, there will be prizes for both days. In Leopardstown on the 12th of September, you'll see uh, the ladies and gents vet for the Longines Prize for Elegance at Leopardstown. And the prizes are absolutely amazing. A total prize pot worth €25,000. It carries on then for the Sunday, where there will be a Longines Prize for Elegance man and woman at the Curra race course which will be the 13th of September so it's a very exciting weekend and we're absolutely delighted to be on board. We love our sport whatever it is you know be it Gaelic football be it be it rugby be it cycling whatever whatever the thing is and I firmly believe that if you put on an event where the standard is good enough Irish people will turn up that's what we saw last year and I believe that's what we're going to see again this year. 
total prize money for Irish Champions Weekend has risen to over €4 million Euro, and the race programme includes five Group 1 races. It'll certainly be two days to savour.